Guys, guys, I am still trying to recover from tonight's episode. Oh my god, it was so intense, right? Aaron, Father Gary, and new character Maze. Wow. Oh my god, this was so intense. Like, my heart was pounding at several points, but yeah. So, guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing um, in The Walking Dead. So, join me as I, Lucas Prime, review The Walking Dead Series 10, Episode 19, titled One More. <laughs> On tonight's episode of Walking Dead, uh, we're going to be following Aaron and Father Gabriel as they're on a supply run who begin a map by Maggie Ree, who of course returned um, on the episode called A Certain Doom, uh, which aired back in October. So she's given a map of different locations and they're going to them. And the episode opens up with them killing several walkers in their path and using distractions such as an alarm clock. And um, yeah, there was a pretty gory scene where there was a walker attached to something and we saw its guts, you know, being pulled out as it got up. Oh, that was gross. Um, so um, so they kill various walkers in their paths and they go to many places, but unfortunately they can't find anything that's essential. Um, so we look in, in cars and also in an abandoned store. Um, and um, they are, we, have, we get a few nice discussions. Uh, they both mention how much they miss their daughters. Aaron missing his adopted daughter, Grace, and Gabriel misses Coco, his daughter with Rosita. Um, now, um, as they're travelling um, towards the last location, Gabriel falls into mud. Um, and um, as a result, the map gets destroyed. And Aaron finds it funny at first, and so he helps Gabriel up, and he gets mud all over Aaron's coat. So, yeah, that was quite a funny moment. With a map gone, Gabriel still wants to visit the location, but Aaron is reluctant. The last location is actually a water tower, but Aaron thinks it's pointless going, and he wants to go back home to Alexandria. So, so on their way, um, they find what appears to be an abandoned warehouse, um, and inside, so we meant to go inside, and, and they see it's, it's full of resources, and they split up to um, find you know, what's in there. Aaron enters the area, he hears noises, and he... He called out to it, you know, saying, you know, I'm a friend, I don't mean harm. But it's not even a walker or a survivor, it's a boar, a wild boar. So it attacks him, but he manages to kill it. And he, he screams and it attracts Gabriel, and Gabriel laughs his head off at it. Because he, he, he just thinks it was so funny how he screamed. So we get a, a very hysterical laughter from Gabriel. Hmm. So, um, and then they decide to sp spend the night at this warehouse. And they cut the boar and eat it, and they drink some whiskey as well. And they, they start drinking, getting a bit, you know, drunk. And they play cards as well. I mean, I'm, I'm going to assume they got the cards from a warehouse, maybe. Then they have nice conversations as well as they sat down on their chairs. Uh, I think Gable talks about, you know, a bit of backstory, you know, um, with his former priest, I believe. Uh, and then the next day, however, um, Gable wakes up to find Aaron's not there. So, so he gets up and he, and he looks around. But then all of a sudden... A man appears behind him, and he's he reveals that he's the one that lives there. So it's his warehouse, and when he steps with his hood, it's Robert Patrick, who you guys may know from the T One Thousand from Terminator Two, Judgment Day, one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm a favorite role that he's played. But boy, oh boy, he was amazing in this episode as Maze. He was awesome. Um, so so he asks um Gabriel what he was cooking as I knew this would be happening because I because I saw a sneak peek in talking day which I'm about to watch after I've done this video um so I knew that he he asked Gabriel what he was cooking Gabriel says it was a bar and then it tasted good and May says he wants a bite so so Maze is eating the the bar at a table and then we get we then get told that it's his pet bar so he's angry at Gabriel for eating it and drinking the whiskey as well because it belonged to him um, so Gabriel then tries to make him understand that, that him and Aaron are good people, but Maze unfortunately doesn't believe him. Then Maze reveals that Aaron was held hostage in a little little room. Um, and he also has an armed AK-47, um, which he does fire, which I thought was a pretty stupid idea because he would probably trap walkers, but luckily it didn't appear to. Um, and then he reveals Aaron's there by showing showing Gabriel his prosthetic metal arm, which actually had a mace attached, which was pretty cool. It had, like, a mace 
instead of, you know, the metal hand, which I thought was a pretty cool touch, really. So, so, Maze then takes Aaron out of the room, and he's gagged and tied up to a chair. And he forces them to play Russian roulette with a revolver, and saying that only one of them will, will leave alive. Um... And, you, and this was a very intense moment, like, my heart was pounding. I was very afraid that one of them would die. Maze then reveals, of course, he then, he's got a brother, and his brother stole his food and tried to kill him. And in retaliation, killed his daughter and his wife. So that was a pretty shocking moment. Um, luckily, though, Aaron does manage to convince Maze, after, after a very intense conversation with, with yelling and screaming, that they're good people. So Maze, you know, decides to accept that and he unties Aaron and lowers his guard and he reveals that his name is Maze. But, right after he revealed his name, Gabriel all snuck behind him, got a Maze and pff, whacked him in the head and killed him. Like, that made me jump. I did not expect that to happen. Oh, that was a shocking moment. Um, So Aaron was pretty shocked at that. Like, I don't think he wanted to kill oh, Maze, but Gabriel said that, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't have him among the other people because of what he did, so... So, um... So, after that, they begin to leave, but then... Aaron points out that Maze heard their conversation last night because he mentioned Aaron's daughter, Gracie, during the intense conversation with Russian Roulette. So, they think maybe he was hiding someone and decided to investigate, so... They discover, like, um... A, a secret passageway into a roof. Which I believe was, like, an attic of the store. Um, it's like an attic entrance, like a trap door. And they go in there and they find Maze's brother tight, handcuffed to the wall and next to the dead bodies of his wife and daughter. So Maze's wife and daughter are right next to him and they look like skeletons. It was pretty horrible to be honest. And Maze's brother was actually played by Rob Patrick. So yeah, he played a dual role as Maze and his twin brother. We didn't know his name. Um, but yeah, Gabriel frees him from the handcuffs. But then and Gabriel steals Gabriel's gun from him. And they try to tell him that they can get him to a safe place. And they're good people to be trusted. But he kills himself. So, yeah. Which, it was a bit disappointing for how um, he killed himself, really. Because I was hoping he'd join them, really. Um, so, Robert Patrick's role was only get him into this episode. Which was a bit disappointing about. Because I hoped he'd have more than one appearance. But, you never know. Maybe he'll have an appearance in a flashback. Maybe. I'm not sure. So, after that, um, they grab the food supplies. And they leave the warehouse to go to water tanks. So, yeah. But yeah, this was a, a really intense episode, guys, and I think good things about this episode was definitely how we developed Aaron and Gabriel. They did a really great job doing that in this episode. Um, I kind of wish we got to know um, why Maze had all those scars on him. I was wondering why he got them, maybe. Maybe it was, it was a result of, you know, his brother trying to kill him. Maybe it was an injury he got from his brother. But we'll have to wait and see, maybe. Um... But yeah, and another thing as well, guys, I did notice was that you get to see a photo of his family and we get to see him with his twin brother, which I think was just two Robert Patrick pictures put together into one to make it look like one picture. And the wife of the character was actually played by Robert Patrick's real-life wife, who I believe is called uh, Barbara Hooper, I think. So yeah, and I think the reason why they got them to play that part was because of the pandemic, you know, preventing, you know, real, you know, couples to be on screen, really, you know, who aren't related in real life, so, they got a real-life couple in this, basically, I think it's the first time a real-life couple's been in the show, actually, which is pretty cool, which I picked up on, so, yeah, um, but, yeah, these episodes so far are getting really good, and, uh, I'm going to be guessing that the next episode on my feature, you know, different characters, maybe, like, one or two regulars, maybe, because it seems these past couple of episodes have only featured a few characters, Apology to the bubbles of the people have had to form in the cruise, maybe, for filming due to the pandemic, maybe. But, yeah. But it's still going with film, though. You wouldn't think it was a pandemic, you know, because of how good the film is. It's very good. Because I'm, I'm going to assume it got tested before filming, which is why we saw close on screen, I think. So, yeah. But, yeah, this was a great episode, guys. It was very intense. It was brilliant. And I think Rob Patrick was probably the best part of the episode. He really stole the show as Maze. Like, brilliant acting by Patrick. I swear to God, he was amazing. So, guys, this was me um, reviewing The Walking Dead Series 10, episode 19, titled One More. And, yeah, stay tuned for next week where I review the next episode, which I believe is called Splinter. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited for that. So, guys, you know, drill, be sure to give this video a like. Also, to be sure to leave in the comments what you guys thought of tonight's episode, if you've seen it. 
Also, be sure to join Team Promo Press and subscribe more videos coming in the future, and I'll see you all later.